learning about writing letters, essay, poems and lots of other useful things on computer. Hey children, do you know that we can use the computer to write letters, essay, poems and lots of other useful things? To do this, we need a program with which we can write words and sentences. WordPad is the one such program. WordPad is the word processor which is a part of Windows accessories. A word processor is the software which helps us to write text, edit text which means we can easily correct our mistakes. Format text, which means we can make the text colorful and attractive. Save the text in the form of a document, which can be used later. Following steps shows how you can open WordPad. The WordPad windows appears. We will now learn about the features of the WordPad window. Document area. This is where you do all your work in WordPad. Title bar. It is a bar at the top of the window. It displays the name of the program you are working in and the name of the file you have created. Title bar has three buttons on extreme right. These buttons are used to control the size of the window. The Minimize button To hide a window or reduce its size to minimum, click Minimize button. The open window is reduced to a button on the taskbar. To bring back the minimized window, click the button on the taskbar. The window reappears. The button is very useful when you are doing more than one job on the computer. The Maximize button. Clicking the Maximize button opens the window to its full size. Restore Down button. Whenever the window is maximized, the Maximized button changes to the Restore Down button. Clicking the Restore Down button brings the window to its reduced size. Close button. When you click on the close button, the program or window will be closed. Menu bar It is a bar just below the title bar. It shows the different commands which can be used in WordPad. Toolbar It lies between the menu bar. It has icons and most commonly used jobs we need to do. Scroll bar. This bar lets us see the different areas of the screen. The vertical scroll bar is on the right hand side of the window. It helps us to move the window up or down. Cursor. The blinking line on the screen is called the cursor. It shows us the place where we can start typing. To start writing from any other location, shift the cursor by using tab or spacebar key. Typing text Let's invite your friends to your birthday party. Now type the following invitation letter using WordPad. Word wrap Did you notice that on reaching the end of the line, your cursor automatically went to the beginning of the new line. This feature is called Word Wrap. Inserting text To insert the word, you might have forget to type, say, Selecting text To select text, such as sentence or a paragraph. To select a single word, you can also select a paragraph by triple-clicking on it. 
place the cursor on the text block and click thrice quickly. The entire paragraph will be selected. Now that you have typed out the letter, let us make it colorful and attractive. Formatting text Some new terms to know Font In the computer, you can type letters and number in many styles. A set of characters of the same style is called a font. This includes alphabets, numbers and special characters. Formatting Designing a document by changing the font size, color or style etc. and arranging it as desired is called formatting. How to change the font size? Let us make the heading font bigger than the rest. How to change the font style? How to make the font bold? How to make the text italic? How to underline the text? How to make the text colorful? To undo your last action. To go back to your last action, use the undo button. This is useful in bringing back a deleted word or to cancel the formatting you have made by going back to previous format. For example, to cancel the coloring format. How to copy and paste text. If we have to get a number of copies of the same text, we do not have to type it each time. We can use the copy and paste option of the window pad to avoid repetitive typing. You can repeat this process as many times as you want the text to be copied. How to cut and paste If you want to shift text from one part to another, you could use the cut and paste option of WordPad. Saving, opening and new documents. Remember to keep saving your work at regular intervals by clicking on the save button on the toolbar. How to open a document created earlier? You can also open a document directly by double-clicking the file menu. How to create a new document? You can also save, open or create a document from the file menu. How to exit from WordPad? You can also click the close button on the right corner of the title window to exit from WordPad. Summary We have learned about the WordPad and its use. So children, hope you had fun. Goodbye!